are more conducive than it was when Babangida administration came into being. It is our hope that the incoming administration will continue on this noble venture and equally provide an excellent edifice to how the Ministry of Defense and the service headquarters in the new federal capital city. The training institutions continue to get support for the trained and highly qualified instructors. Various training aids have been provided to enhance our efficiency and professionalism. The National War College was established under our able leadership and construction at Nigerian Defense Academy. Permanent site is also in progress. Serious consideration and commitment has been made for acquiring training aircraft to offset the backlog in basic pilot training. Other weapon system, mobility, communication equipment have also been acquired to assist the armed forces in training and operation. In addition, maintenance culture was duly popularized. More emphasis has been given to local maintenance and self-sufficiency. Loss of vehicles and other equipment were consequently refurbished and the naval dockyard was established in line with your dynamic leadership and policy of self-reliance and self-sufficiency. We are proud today that our Navy relies on itself to refurbish and refit our ships and carry out virtually all aspects of training locally. Mr. President, you have not only touched the lives of serving members of the armed forces, but you have set an unprecedented record in providing gainful employment for retired officers and soldiers. Many of our retired colleagues have benefited from your magnanimity by providing them with employment at local, state, and federal levels. Nobody can deny your achievement and excellent qualities. You have made Abuja a reality with the movement of the seat of administration to this fresh and beautiful city. You have created more states and local governments and provided hope where there was none. In line with adequate respect to grassroots participation, you have conducted, debated, and articulated political programs since the inception of this administration with the aid of a report forwarded by the political bureau whose recommendations are being systematically implemented. You have, ap you have appealed our political consciousness and have dexterously given us two political parties that have successfully contested elections at local and state levels and the federal legislative houses. You have also introduced the open secret balloting system as additional innovation to our election procedures. To me, these are the best political legacies any patriot will bequeath to his country. You have initiated the best economic programs which is the bedrock of our future economic survival as a nation. There is no doubt that posterity will benefit from your programs for many years to come. Today, the name IBB is synonymous with foresight, hard work, excellence, and service to our armed forces and the nation. Nothing less than the best is what you aim to achieve for this country. You have made sacrifices, stir some dust, and present bold solutions to issues facing this country in order to bequeath our nation the best legacies in the political, economic, and social policies of this country. Your vision for a strong democracy has provided the current reorientation of the generality of Nigerian military. We now believe and resolute in defending all the ideals of democracy. This informs our resolve to pursue to a logical conclusion the process of evolving a viable democracy for our nation as initiated and believed by you. We reiterate for the avoidance of doubt that as your primary constituency, we in the Nigerian Armed Forces share a collective responsibility for all the programs and policies undertaken by the administration headed by you.
We appreciate that in your usual foresight, you have allowed the structure of the armed forces to remain intact throughout the trying period. It is on this note that I, on behalf of the Nigerian Armed Forces and the police, be the outgoing Commander-in-Chief, General Ibrahim Badumasi Babangida, CFR, DSS, MNI, and his family, farewell and wish them a happy life in retirement. The God that provided you for Nigeria, we pray, will keep and protect you, continue to grant you good health and wisdom, to continue to be of service to yourself, your family, and indeed your beloved country and the world in general. And we assure you, we as members of the armed forces, we will continue to remain dedicated, loyal, and to protect and defend the Constitution and to discharge our responsibilities as provided in the Constitution. Ladies and gentlemen, may I request you to rise to a toast for the continued good health and prosperity of our retiring Commander-in-Chief, General Ibrahim Badumasi Babangida, and his family. Please rise. Mr. President, 